Rocket. She wasn't the first railway locomotive. Many of her innovations have been used on other railway locomotives before her. And yet, Rocket inhabits this almost magical place in railway folklore history. Why is that? Let's find out. Hello, my name's Anthony and I'm an enthusiast. I love discovering stories about how people and technologies helped the world to make things and do things quicker, cheaper and easier. And today I'm looking at the story of Rocket. In particular, I want to learn more about how Rocket revolutionised the railway industry that helped thrust the world into the modern age. Now I'm no expert. The year is 1829. England is the centre of the universe when it comes to steam technology. Richard Trevithick, John Blenkinsop, Timothy Hackworth, George Stevenson and his son Robert have already built steam locomotives by this time. A new railway line was proposed to link the English cities of Liverpool and Manchester. But the people behind the railway couldn't agree on how to move the trains. Some wanted to use stationary winding engines and using ropes and pulleys to pull the trains along the line. Others, such as George Stevenson, wanted to use travelling steam locomotives that would be able to haul the entire train the entire length of the railway. But as nobody could agree, they held a competition. And they used a stretch of completed line near a place called Rainhill. This was 1829. The prize, or premium, for the winning locomotive was £500. Rocket was built specifically for this competition. The Stevensons even referred to her as the premium engine in correspondence between each other. So what was so special about Rocket? Well, Rocket was like steam locomotive version 2.0. Let me show you. This is the firebox. In earlier steam engines, the fire was actually inside the boiler. This is separate from the boiler itself and it contained a water jacket around it. And the heat that radiated from the fire used to help heat the water. See the outer wall, the inner wall, same here, but inside here was where the water was. See the door for stoking the fire over there. The hot gases passed along these tubes, fire tubes, 25 of them in this boiler. The gases passed through the tubes and out and up the chimney. This was revolutionary because the tubes increased the surface area which allowed more of the heat to transfer into the water. This is a cylinder. There's another one on the other side. Steam used to enter the cylinder and drive the piston which used to drive the piston rod, which drove the wheels. This kind of cylinder was a big improvement on earlier locomotives. Earlier engines had vertical pistons, which used to shake and rock the engine. In some instances, shake them apart. The steam, when it used to exit, used to come along this pipe and blast out of the chimney. That was revolutionary. The action of blasting the steam up the chimney would suck the air, the hot gases from the firebox through the engine. This made this engine massively efficient. And that is what makes this steam locomotive so special. Rocket beat all the other competitors and won the competition. The railway bought Rocket and a fleet of new steam engines based upon Rocket. Rocket worked the line for about four years. She changed hands several times and eventually she ended up in the care of the Science Museums Group in England. If you'd like to enjoy more videos like this, please consider subscribing 
And remember to hit that notifications bell to make sure that you're notified whenever there's a new video. Thank you for watching, and if you haven't already, join the revolution. <laughs>